All right, time for some Chicago talk. We got Joey here, we got Brendan, we got Patrick. I need to ask you before we get started, who's the best looking guy on here? That's right, right. No, 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 between you guys, you guys. I'm going me. Why? I don't know, because my hair's on point today. You do have good hair. Thank you. Three words to describe you, Patrick. I'm funny, I'm honest, and I'm sincere. Okay, wow, and you're single. And I'm single, yes. <laughs> Anything you want to say to the Chicago women watching? Uh, if you got money, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> they have that's a prerequisite. You gotta have money if you want to be with me. Brendan, what about you? Me, uh, 35, married, three kids. I'm from Berwyn. From Berwyn, restaurant that's, uh, owner. Restaurant. I have a restaurant called Big Guy Sausage Stand on Roosevelt Road. Gotcha. Delicious, best fast food in Chicago. All right, mm -hmm. and uh, neighborhood for you, Joey? Uh, back of the yards neighborhood, south side of Chicago. Got it. And you Weird. always travel with your zip code on your hat. Oh, I, I, I usually have a White Sox hat on, but we didn't want to get sued by the White Sox, so. <laughs> there you go. All right, listen, uh, I'm going to ask you some quick random questions because we're going to do some icebreaker stuff. Best and worst thing about Chicago, Brendan? Uh, the best thing is the people. The worst thing is the people. It just depends on the <laughs> day of the week, right? I mean, <laughs> What Depends season? on the mood you're in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, like the first day of, like the first nice day, people are like letting you in in traffic or whatever. Like the coldest day, they're like, go f yourself. Like, just <laughs> no, nobody wants to let you in. You're stuck, you know. <laughs> Best thing is summer in Chicago. Worst thing, the potholes. Yeah. Can't stand them. Isn't they're that giant. crazy that like Domino's is fixing potholes around the country? You see that? That's ridiculous, man. Like, what? Wow. I, good for them. <laughs> Great. But well, if you let a Domino's pizza sit for a day, you can cover it. and pile yeah. with it. That's what I heard, too. That's what I heard. The best thing is the city. Like, it's a beautiful city. We got a lot of good food. Worst thing is the politics, man. The politicians, uh, the 50 aldermen that we don't need. If you were grading Mayor Rahm Emanuel, what's the grade? Where I live, I'd give him an F. If I lived in Gold Coast, I'd be like, all right, uh, you know, thumbs up. But uh, I, I give him an F, man, because just the crime, uh, CPS is a mess. It just, if you live in certain neighborhoods, you really feel like Rom does not give a about those neighborhoods. So. Mm -hmm. Who's the next mayor of Chicago? Oh, uh, man, I don't know. I, I, I have a feeling it's going to be Preckwinkle. What about the sugar tax, though, that Preckwinkle put in? Who cares? You, you don't we care? We can tax, <laughs> like, like, my property taxes go up two grand. These people are caring about, worried about spending 40 bucks a year on Ounces of soda, get the f out of here. Right, but you're taxing the poor, you're taxing kids. Yeah, I get it. There's a lot of fat little kids, uh, you know, they, they <laughs> yeah. shouldn't drink so much pop, you know? I mean, it, it is what it is. I couldn't believe the ire of, of pop, you know what I mean? Like, okay, you're gonna let Coke get you all, all angry about this when they're just raised your property tax 10%. Like, get the hell out of here. Your kid's school just closed, but you care about pop? Out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you got kids out here shooting each other left and right, right. and you're worried about like soda killing What's kids. What's next? Like, air? They gonna tag air? Yeah, tax so crack. <laughs> yeah. They should tax crack. Uh, <laughs> Patrick, what, what's the grade for Mayor Emanuel? I'm going F. I don't like the guy. I don't think he cared about the city. I think he just did it to like be cool and show him like, hey, I was mayor. Check it out. What do you think about uh, marijuana being legalized? J.B. Pritzker is already saying Absolutely, that's going to yes, happen. Absolutely, yes, 100%. Let's do it today. Do you have any on you at the moment? No, I don't. Why are you buying? <laughs> <laughs> you for legalizing? Uh, yeah, for, of course. Why not? <laughs> you, well, it could create other addictions, You're other problems. No, that's all bull****. <laughs> you know, crack's an addiction. Pot's just a hobby, you know? I mean, <laughs> it's an everyday hobby. Are you for legalizing? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. Because I've been arrested on some, like, petty, small amounts, dude. Yeah. So, yeah, like, not having to worry, like, oh, it's not a lot. I don't, I'm not going to go to jail, you know, not having to worry. Here's it. I look at it like I have, I have a father who's always been on opioids. Uh, I, you know, you see, I, I know a lot of comedians that deal with depression, anxiety, or whatever. And a lot of pill poppers, man. I mean, Pat knows we've lost a lot of young comedians yeah. to, to pills, like Percocet, like that. I just feel like legalizing marijuana will kind of alleviate all that but mm. you know, the money with Big Pharma. But like when we were talking about the, like leading into other habits, like I said, alcohol to me has always been the gateway drug. So whatever you lead to, you're always drunk first. Yeah. Where you <laughs> get the balls and be like, and I'll do that. Stuff. And then right. bam, now you're hooked on cocaine because you were drunk the night before. So. <laughs> New drugs have ruined the workforce, <laughs> by the way. You used to be able to, 
you know, hire crack guys and they do the best cleaning job you ever saw. And now these <laughs> guys, they can't even pick up a mop. They're all fucking lazy. That's serious. That's real. That's for real though. Cause I, it's no lie, I like, I know Mexican dudes like roofers. You know, they, 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 you know, sniff here and there, but dude, don't put your roof on in like 30, <laughs> solid man, 30 minutes. All right, uh, first that. thing that comes to mind when I say President Trump. Hilarious. Yeah, hilarious. Are you a fan? I'm not. A, I didn't vote for the guy. I'm not a supporter. It's just uh, some of his tweets crack me the hell up, man. He says some really f***ed up shit. <laughs> and as a comic, I'm like, damn. Why didn't I, Why didn't I that? think of that? <laughs> <laughs> like when he called dude Rocket Man, Kim Jong-un or something, I was like, that's some funny shit right there. That's some shit I would have said. Not shit the president should say, but. What about you, Joe? Uh, a fraud. I would just say fraud. Like I, I compared him to the Firefest guy, the guy that created Firefest. Oh, yeah, Billy McFarlane. Just yeah. make a big story, a bullshit story, make a couple cool commercials to trick everybody, and bam, he's in office. Right. So, <laughs> and the wall still hasn't been built. It's not gonna. Get, that's the Firefest right there. The wall is the Firefest, <laughs> where your supporters are showing up. Like, where's the f-ing wall? You know. So. You guys yeah, all have friends fun. that live in other cities, and they all think certain things about Chicago. What uh, What do you hate the most? Uh, the stereotype about Chicago. They think we're all fatties. You know, I might be, but we're not all fatties, you know? Like, we got guts, uh, but yeah, we all just eat sausage every day. You, you kind of fit the stereotype. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> you, you even have, like, the voice, too. You <laughs> want a sausage? Yeah. Yeah. The deep dish thing, man, it kills me. Everyone thinks that everyone in Chicago loves deep dish pizza, and it's just not true. Like, I'll have it once in a while, but I'm a thin crust guy. I grew up on that. They bring up the crime all the time, too. You yep. know, like, hey, look, but that's kind of true. It's always on the news. If you're mayor for a day, what do you do? Or, or just mayor, period, what do you do? Because right, I'm saying you can't get done in one day in well, Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> People don't understand how many guns are in the streets of Chicago. Like, I can call two guys right now and just go get a gun. And People have guns left and right, like toys, dude. Like, oh, I forgot I had this gun under the bed, you know what I mean? So. It's one of, yeah, if you can find a way to get people just to turn in guns and give them a nice, good incentive, just get as many off the street. I'm all for the Second Amendment, don't get me wrong. You need something to protect your house, but why, there's just so many f-ing guns out there. Like, Brennan? I think you could, you know, pay kids to go to school. And pay kids to go to like school. Like, if you look at, you know, uh, you know, in the gain ridden areas and so forth, like what one shooting costs this city, you know, to pay kids, get them to go to school, help them out, you know, give them real incentive. You know what, like, gang members make? Like, it's way below minimum wage. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you get kids out of the gangs. Go to school. We'll pay you. Just f-ing. don't shoot people. It saves us a load of money. If you bring you a know? gun, we pay We've for your school. We've got the money. You see our downtown. You need to trickle that down to the, the west sides and south sides. That's mm-hmm. for sure. Patrick, what do you do if you're mayor? Um, <clears throat> fix the potholes first. You really don't like those problems. I mean, that's part of crime. But I kind of like his idea, too, with the incentive to keep kids in school. Maybe even an after program for, like, apprenticeships. Something where it gets them into a job so they know they have something waiting for them. Instead of joining a gang or selling drugs, they can get some real work. And not every kid has to go to college, either. Trade, you know, pick you up know, a trade. You know, the trades, man. We need people in trades. Like, everyone thinks they got to go to college. and. Everyone I know in college is like in their middle 30s now, still paying off debt. So it's like, and you why? can't you can't fill potholes if you don't. Do they want to have a busted pipe exactly. for the polar need... vortex and try and get a f-ing plumber over? Exactly. To fix that? Right. You need no, those we people. need people in the trades. That goes to your point. What do you hate about people that hate about you know say about Chicago? It's the dehumanizing of these kids on the west side and the south sides. They need. You know, opportunity. Yep. You know what I mean? They're that, just like, oh, it's key. crazy over there. They're not, they're not looking these. There's, nothing, yeah, to they do There's nothing to do. They don't even have a chance out the gate. It's like give them some programs. Like There's even the plenty park, of buildings that could be reconstructed. Even like the park districts. When I was a teenager in the '90s, all the parks that we went to, Cornell Park, McKinley Gage Park, they all had free basketball programs. You can like set a time to get the gym and just play with your friends. You know, they cut all of that stuff. A lot of these parks don't have counselors anymore. Mm-hmm. The day, you gotta pay for day camps now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's like, you know, there's no funding in that stuff. There's nothing for these kids to do. Right. All right, I wanna lighten it up a little. Uh, yeah. Ideal date night in Chicago. Where are you going? What are you oh, doing? man. Well, we're gonna kick it off. She's gonna come to one of my shows, <laughs> right? Comedy shows? Okay, yeah. so Comedy it's all show? about you. Yeah, it's still about me. Uh, I may get her a ticket. <laughs> you might come She gets one of my drink tickets. That's it. <laughs> one I only get two, might. usually. 
And then wherever she wants to go to eat afterwards, as long as she's paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing it out there. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done for a woman? Oh, man. I sent roses to her work once, and uh, it didn't go well. Why? I don't know. She just wasn't having it. She was dating someone else, too, at the time. Oh, so she got the roses. Yeah, but he was a jag off. It was like the on and off dating thing. So she was seeing so me, but still with him. Uh, that broke the no contact And I order, figured huh? the roses would be like, all right, this is how I move this guy out of her life. And no, it was, he sent her more better roses. <laughs> So that's I why see your I'm rose, done, man. I'm and I sent two dozen roses. Right, yeah. I'm like, you know what? I got one up. Forget it, man. <laughs> Come hit me up when you get paid, and we'll hang out. <laughs> Ideal date night. Well, I'm a chef. You know, I cook. I cook a lot, but so you know, like last night, the whole family we had a, a crazy bake. We made a hundred baked clams. My one kid ate thirty baked clams to herself. We named her Queen Clam for the night. Um, you know, we did the surf and turf, king crab legs. That's all of our things. But for the people that don't cook, they can't do that. There's a cozy little place on Roosevelt Road in Berwyn. All right, there's a Jewels right across the street. You go get a forty. You come over. <laughs> it's BYOB. Joy, what about you? Uh, I like Ideal this idea too. Night. Like. Well, once they legalize the marijuana, we'll stop at the dispensary first. Yes. You're right. You know, and it's romantic, get some, yep. some top-notch stuff. Uh, I don't go to the movies a lot, but I like to go to the movies on date nights. You know what mm. I mean? Like, me and my, well, that would be a date night for me and my wife a lot. We're like, let's just go to the movies. Because, you know, it's expensive to go to the yeah, movies now, right? Yeah, What's the last movie you, you watched that made you cry? Oh, sh**. That made me cry. Lion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I did yeah, see that. Yeah, yeah. the end of that movie, That's an amazing like, oh, story. God, yeah. About the kid that got, got separated from yeah, his family got separated as a little from, kid. Yeah. I think that's the last movie that made me, you know, it made my <laughs> lip quiver and shit. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. See, I, I'm getting old, so like insurance commercials are starting to choke <laughs> me up now. I don't <laughs> know. I get, I get, I get all glossy eyed for no reason. <laughs> it's mistakes. true. My dad, yeah. he's getting older. He's an old school Italian, and That's like hilarious. every year he gets a little older, he gets a little more sentimental. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't know. Like what I it leave is. to go to the yeah. store, and he starts tearing up. Just grab my kids, <laughs> give them a little hug. Yeah, I don't know. Oh man, I cry all the time, man. It's sometimes not even movies. It's just like he said, commercials, like a little dog or something, puppies, anything. Man. I'm a. <laughs> <laughs> A chance a rapper doing great things for Chicago, right? Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on my most influential? Is, do you think he's the most influential person in I Chicago I love Chance right now? the Rapper. I have a 17-year-old daughter. She just adores this guy. I love him. He's great. just a great guy. As far as Chance goes, I don't know one of his songs, but the young man is like a philanthropist and uh, doing great things, and I hope other artists, you know, look at that and try to give back. I mean, what's Kanye doing? He ain't doing half of this stuff, and he's... A lot Way of up here, yeah. He was the first one that actually turned Comiskey Park into a full-blown like festival concert, mm -hmm. which was awesome. No fights, you know what I mean? Like, so, so to see that on the south side is always cool. You know what I mean? Like, and, and he still calls it Comiskey. Guys, we're yeah, out of always, time. It's always Comiskey Park. Want to say thank you and say cheers, Joey, hey, thanks, you, man. Brendan, it, right? Patrick, thank cheers, you guys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.